Hello everybody and welcome to something slightly different today. It's Resident Evil 2 the remake and I guess this is not quite the type of game that I usually play on this channel. As a matter of fact it's not quite the type of game that I usually play in general uh, for that matter. But it is not the first time I'm playing a Resident Evil game. As a matter of fact I have played the original one a long time ago. Not when it came out the first time, um, I think about 10 years ago they released a remake of the first game and I remember playing that and then I moved on to Resident Evil uh, 2 and I did play a few other uh, Resident Evil games as well, the last one being Resident Evil 6 and that was quite some time ago already as well. When was that released? 2012 maybe? So that's seven years. I can't believe it's been that long. So when they made this remake I thought I wanna give this a try and you know see how closely it resembles the original although I have to admit that I don't really remember all that much about the original. So I did label this let's play as a blind let's play because I haven't played the remake yet of course I still may remember a few things from my first playthrough of the original and maybe I will not fall for absolutely every jump scare in this game, we will see. I don't know how uh, precise and uh, faithful the remake is in relation to the original, but I guess I will find out. And yeah, I have played um, pretty much only the numbered Resident Evil games, so I have not played uh, Revelations or Dark Side Chronicles or Code Veronica and stuff like that, which means I have some basic knowledge about the story and the lore, but it is by no means complete or whatever. But uh, since some people watching this Let's Play may not have played other games either, I will probably try to avoid talking about major story spoilers uh, to begin with and uh, try not to spoiler you for upcoming games if you haven't played them so far. But yeah, uh, let's jump into the menu. I've been to the menu before because I had to configure the options. Um, as a matter of fact, I actually had uh, GeForce Experience set the graphics options for me um, and it basically pushed them all to the maximum. So the game should look very nice. Uh, on the other hand, the game itself is giving me a warning and apparently wants me to turn down the settings. So we will see who's right, the game telling me to turn it down or Nvidia, um, who apparently have endless confidence in the power of their graphics cards and tell me to play it at maximum settings. And yeah, I think that's really all there is to say about this. Um, as usual, before I start a new game, uh, let's uh, give a few words for potential new viewers. Um, it is still kind of a blind uh, playthrough, so please, no spoilers for me or for the other people in the comment sections. If you want to uh, put something spoilery and discuss it with other people, put up a spoiler shield, so leave a few lines blank, so I don't accidentally read the spoiler. And I always upload a new episode every other day, always at the same time, which is 7 p.m. Central European time. And on the alternating days, I'm currently playing The Wolf Among Us. So if you're interested in that, uh, go check it out. And it is generally okay to give me advice in regards of gameplay, um, if you don't uh, exaggerate it and try to tell me like every little detail. I want to figure out a little bit for myself as well. But generally gameplay advice is okay, especially since I believe this game has a different gameplay than the original, so I will have to learn this all over again. Anyway, uh, I guess we can just uh, start with a story. It says continue, but um, there's nothing to continue because I haven't started it yet. No, there is no no <coughs> save game data. So yeah, let's uh, start a new game. Scenario select. Leon S. Kennedy and Claire Redfield. Okay. Yeah, I remember that the original had like two scenarios and you could play each scenario with each character. 
I'm guessing this is kind of uh, similar. So I will play both scenarios, obviously. Um, I mean, they are different enough to warrant a se separate uh, playthrough, at least. That's how it was in the original. So we have Leon Kennedy, obviously. After a few days of radio silence from his new post, Leon S. Kennedy drives to Raccoon City to scope things out. Unbeknownst to him, a nightmare awaits. <laughs> so he's a... Uh, Fresh out of police academy, I guess, and uh, he's about to uh, have his first day on the job, but um, it's not going to be a nice day, I can tell you that. Claire Redfield, a different nightmare awaits Claire Redfield, who is unaware of just how drastically her very ordinary life is about to change. <laughs> now, Claire Redfield, for those who are not familiar with the series, is the sister of one of the protagonists of the first game, Chris Redfield. Um, there is no single fixed protagonist uh, in the Resident Evil franchise, but each game has sometimes more than one, and uh, the games have different ones, and sometimes protagonists reappear in other games. And I would say the most iconic ones are probably Jill Valentine from the first game and uh, Leon Kennedy from the second. He was also in the fourth game and the sixth one, so... He uh, has quite a few of uh, reappearances. But yeah, um, I don't know if there's a preferred order how to do this. I guess I'm starting with Leon first since he's uh, the first in the list. As a matter of fact, I believe I played Leon first in the original as well because he was on disc one. So there's that. I don't know. Let's start with Leon's story and see where we go from there. Okay, what do we got here? Assisted. For players who are unfamiliar with action games, aim assist recovers a certain amount of health automatically. Enemies are a little weaker. Saving requires an ink ribbon. Oh, I remember that. That is such an annoying uh, feature, quote unquote. Um, no auto save, stronger enemies. Yeah, I fear I have to go with assisted here because. It's been so long that I played a Resident Evil game. Like I said, 6 was released 7 years ago. So I think I should uh, save me and you from some frustration and just ease into it. And I don't know, if it goes well, we can uh, play Claire's story on a higher difficulty maybe. But for a start um, to get back into uh, this game, I think... I should start on the easiest mode. And I'm completely unashamed to play games on easy for that matter, so yeah. Let's go with Assisted. Raccoon City, an industrial city in the heart of... There's no way I could read that in time. Hey, look, man, I'm serious, okay? I saw this with my own eyes. Oh, I believe you, buddy. I believe you. <laughs> Just tell us a story. Tell us a story. Okay, well, it was last Friday night. I was walking home from the bar, and this woman started coming towards me. She was staggering, you know, so I, I figured she was drunk. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, tell us, be honest now, how many drinks did you have? No, man, I, I barely had a buzz on her. Oh, come on. Look, just listen, all right? She got closer and I got a good look at her. You had to see her eyes, her nose, her whole face. It looked like it was rotting. Yeah. She looked like a corpse. Like a walking corpse, man. <laughs> Sounds like my wife. <laughs> I've never seen anything like it. I haven't been able to sleep since that night. All right, calm down, buddy. Calm down. Just, hey, you got to stay strong, okay? Don't give in to fear out there, right? Yeah, well, you got that right. If you freeze up around these things, you'll sink to pieces. Oh, come on. It's just getting good. Go, it's beginning already. What do I 
I think you're going to die. That's what you're going to do. Or potentially become a zombie. at baby Leon. <laughs> so cute. No one's around. That's weird. Well, if you think that's weird, just wait. Explore your surroundings. Okay, I am in control. I am in control of young Leon. And, well, walking works as you would expect it to work. I can run. I mean, it's not exactly fast, but it's running, alright. And I can also uh, happily report that my frame rate is actually perfect. Um, I'm maxing out 60 FPS uh, easily, so I guess Nvidia was right to put the settings on maximum because I'm, I'm not seeing any problems here. Okay, so that's really all I can do at the moment. Run and look around, so let's see. I want to have a look at the sign over here. Welcome to Raccoon City, home of Umbrella. So proud to advertise that. So I guess I'm supposed to go inside this gas station now. Or can I uh, investigate this car a little bit? I mean, some bad stuff already went down here, obviously. Oh, I think I can't can't do anything here. Okay, well, um, let's check out the gas station. Hello. Anybody there? Hmm. Something's not right. Mm hmm Indeed. Indeed. Ooh, I already hear stuff. Investigate the store. Okay. It's really, really dark in here. Uh, that's actually something else that I will have to... Uh, figure out. YouTube tends to make videos a lot darker than they are. So I hope this is going to look okay once it's uploaded. Anyway, this is creepy. I hear different kinds of noises. Oh, oh, um... You are right? I don't know. The question is, is he... Don't move. I'll be back for you. Is he undead? He seems to be fine. Okay. Um, well, fine, quote-unquote. Okay, let's go inside here. Yep, there's definitely stuff going on inside here. Officer, you need help? Stay back, sir. I got this. Uh-oh. Well. Okay. Freeze! 
I'll shoot. Oh, I have I have a gun. Okay. I guess I will just go for the head. Well, son of a bitch. He's certainly not going down with a simple headshot. But that's how I remember it from the first game. As a matter of fact, very often you shouldn't even bother trying to kill them. You should just run away. <gasps> okay, okay. Um, these zombies look terrifying in ultra graphic setting. Hey, what are you doing? Oh no, oh no. Why? Why did you lock me in? Oh, great. Right, um... I guess I have to go through here now. I don't trust this. Um, this one is locked as well. Oh, this is my inventory. But I need a key, I guess. Okay. Can't go through here. Um, yeah. He's dead. And maybe undead soon. Oh, key. Key. Yes. I need that key. So I have eight... Eight slots in my inventory. Yeah, I think you had eight slots in the original as well. Maybe six. I don't remember. So you have very limited inventory space. No, uh, bottomless pockets in this game. Yeah, um, Jesus. Oh no, oh no. He's he's coming back. Um, I'm going to ignore him. I'm just going for the exit here. Using key items. When you need to use an item to unlock a door or solve a puzzle, select the item and then the use command. Okay, I mean that seems fairly straightforward. Use. Okay, let's get out of here. Oh no, this guy is alive as well and this one is alive and uh, nope. I'm not, I'm not going to waste any bullets on these guys. I'm just going to make a run for the exit, which I think is over here. Don't shoot. Oh, Get hi. <laughs> Ooh. This is already very exciting. You all right? Yeah, I think so. Thanks. You can thank me later, when we're safe. Holy shit. Yeah, I think you should leave. Come on! Get in! Hold on. Where did these guys all come from? This place was empty five minutes ago. What the hell is going on? I don't know. Hopefully they'll have some answers at the police station. Wait, you're a cop? Yeah, Leon Kennedy. You are? Claire. Claire Redfield. You live around here? No. I'm looking for my brother. He's a cop too. Well, it's a good thing we found each other. I don't know what to expect anymore. The worst. Yeah, welcome to Raccoon City. Too. Here we go. Attention all citizens. 
due to the citywide outbreak. You are advised to take shelter at the Raccoon City Police Station. Free food and medical supplies will be provided to everyone in need. Oh my god, this is so unreal. The police station's not much farther. They'll know something. Yeah, but... What if we're the only ones? What if there's no survivors? No, there's survivors. It's a big city. There has to be. Looks like we're walking from here. There's more of them. More like running. Yeah, good call. Oh, <laughs> Welcome to your first day on the drop, Leon. Claire! Claire, are you okay? Yeah! I'm alright! How about you? You can't stay here, it's not safe! Go on ahead! I'll meet you at the station! I'll be there! Okay, get to the police station. Um... Again, I'm not I'm not going to waste any bullets on these guys. I, I wish I knew where I had to go though. Um Do I have a map? No, I don't have a map. Is this is this a way inside? Shit. It's everybody. Uh oh. They've all turned. Um I need to run. Run! Why can't you run any faster, Leon? There it is. The station. Okay, so this is the right way to the station. Um Yeah. Oh, I hope this is the way through this maze of cars and zombies. Okay. Seems safe enough for the moment. And achievement locked. Welcome to the city of the dead. Yeah, indeed. So I feel a bit safer now, so maybe we can actually look around a bit. I'm not sure if there's any stuff to find on the outside. Oh, we already have some body bags lying around here. Not sure if this is safe. Okay, I guess uh, we're going inside now. Ooh. Yeah, this is kind of how I remember it. Just much more impressive looking. Hello? So. Is anybody here? Welcome to the worst designed police station ever. If this is anything like the original, we will soon find out. Oh, I found some ammo. Is this the kind of ammo that I need? Handgun ammo six times. 
9mm Parabellum handgun bullets, the most common of bullets. They are favored for their stable flight trajectory and moderate recoil. And I have a Matilda handgun which uses 9mm bullets, so this should work with my gun. Okay. And oh yeah, typewriter. Typewriter means save point and in the original game you only had a limited amount of ink ribbons. You would find ink ribbons, you know, in random places and you could only save if you had a spare ink ribbon. Which obviously is meant to increase difficulty but it made it very annoying because, you know, sometimes you just wanted to quit the game because it was late or you had stuff to do and maybe you couldn't because you didn't have an ink ribbon or you didn't want to use an ink ribbon. So I'm kind of glad that they uh, got rid of that. As a matter of fact, it says that there's autosaves, so um, that should make my life a bit easier. Anyway, uh, we have a computer over here. Let's have a look at this as well. There has to be someone here. Is. Not good. <laughs> David, Marvin, you there? I found a way out. It's in here. A way out? Send reinforcements. East hallway. I'm, I'm just coming from the outside. You don't want to go out. I gotta find that guy. Okay. So, oh, I have a map now because I saw it on the computer. That makes sense. Making use of the map. The map screen is useful for more than just your current location and surroundings. It can also show you any points of interest and items you have found but haven't picked up. I think that's uh, exactly like it was in the original as well. So, we have at least part of the map available now. I mean, I guess there's more stuff over here. Watchman's room. That's where I need to go. Okay. And we have storage. So... I'm guessing I won't need the key anymore because that key was for the storage room at the gas station. Which means um, I'm going to get rid of that one as I only have very limited inventory space and you should never carry around any stuff that you don't need, absolutely. So before I go ahead and check out that place, maybe I will look around a little bit. Um, there's something that I have to do here, but apparently I'm missing something for it. Oh yeah, um need to find these medallions. Yeah, this is a very weird police station with lots of puzzles and uh, cryptic hidden pathways that you need to unlock doing stuff, you know, stuff like this. I have no idea who built this place and thought this would make a good police station. Well, I suppose it wasn't originally meant to be a police station. They just moved in here. And this is what they got. Also, I'm hoping that I won't run into any zombies here in the main hall. Right here. Well, this seems safe enough. Oh, oh, I know what this is. A green herb. Yes, this is for healing. I'll take it. This is locked. Yeah, I think they are like different kind of keys and uh, you need to find them to open the doors. Welcome to Raccoon City. Did you know, while we are the home of pharmaceutical giant Umbrella Corporation, Raccoon City is a vibrant and dynamic city with a long, rich history of its own. In this guide, we'll introduce you to just a few of the more unusual points of interest our city has to offer. 
The building in the center of town wasn't always a police station. There we go. In fact, it used to be an art museum. Various features like the unusual clock tower and the goddess statue in the main hall remind us of a bygone area. Orphanage. Just a few blocks from the police station is an orphanage founded and run by the Umbrella Corporation with the help of generous donations from businesses and citizens alike. The building is known for its stained glass window, which attracts visitors from around the world. And yeah, if you haven't guessed already, Umbrella Corporation is basically responsible for the zombies. So, there's that. Oh safe well don't have a combination for that but i'm guessing yeah it shows up on my map so once i know how to get inside there i can come back and uh, open it yeah i guess i can't really move on in this area so far And, I don't know, let's check out the other hallway over here as well. But uh, then we will move on and try to find uh, the guy we saw on the video. Um, yeah, this is another door that needs a key, the same one actually. Ooh, that's more ammo. I'll take it. got 18 bullets now and yeah um, if this is anything like the original then ammo is going to be a problem so sometimes it's better to just run and not try to kill a zombie if it takes too many bullets anyway I guess uh, I'll have to check out this place now um, can I even go through here also, there's something over here. Oh, first aid spray. I kind of want that. It's apparently right over here. Ah. Okay. Um, I guess I don't need the herb and the health spray, so... Let's leave this behind. Let's make another save. And let's move on. Okay, um, this is where I have to go, right? Yes, it is. This seems like a bad idea. <laughs> it doesn't even open. Um, okay. This seems like a very bad idea. Probably not the last one Leon will have in this game. Okay. Okay. Here we are. Um, <laughs> lots and lots of blood on the floor. Uh, again, it seems that I need a part for this mechanism. So, fuse box, okay. We got the east office over here. The press room and the bathroom and the watchman's room. Which is where I have to go. The well, question is do I want to investigate these places? And they seem empty. can't actually open this one. Okay. Well, that answers my question. Who is making those noises? Again, that door is completely barricaded. Um, well, they did a good job with the lighting in this game. This is really terrifying. You got this. Uh-huh. Yeah, you got this, Leon. 
I'm just glad I'm not in your place at the moment. I don't remember the original being quite as dark and moody. But the original had other challenges like a fixed camera perspective and not this third person over the shoulder view. Um, are you dead or are you undead? Oh, can I turn on the light in here? Well, that's much better. Thank you. Okay, let's uh, look around a bit. See, see if there's anything of interest in here. Hmm. Oh, I can loot. I can loot bodies. I see. Okay, I'll take your bullets. And yeah, it says search completed, which means I have found all the items in this room. So that's always a nice pointer to give you some help. Which means um, I have to go through here, but it's kind of blocked. I can remove this. Come on, you can do it, Leon. Cleaning in progress. Yeah, I guess it was in progress. So is this like actually water and not blood? I mean, this seems to be water, which is a slight comfort. Um. Yeah, I guess I'll check out the bathroom as well before I move on. Men's bathroom is barred. I guess we can have a look inside here. Not seeing anything. Ah, but of course I will have to check inside. Toilets. Hm. Oh, hang on a second. Is this? Ah, yes, this is another health spray. Oh, I can only carry one of them at a time, apparently. Okay, what about this one? Well, that's interesting. But essentially harmless. Okay, so apparently that's all the items in here. Right, uh, let's move on to the watchman's room, I suppose. This is far too quiet. No, no, these guys seem to be Jesus. moving. Open up! Hurry! Open up! Open this goddamn door! Who's talking? Oh, are we talking about that door? Okay, um, hang on a second, I'll, I'll help you. Out. Uh oh, uh oh, oh no. Oh no. <laughs> yep. That's not all of him. Closed. Officer's notebook. Okay, this is the one he has been showing to us, right? Got a statue, and yes, you need three medallions, and it opens some kind of underground passage to the parking, and then out of here. Of course, the question is, is this safer than uh, 
the way out that we uh, just came in. I guess that's what we're going to hope for. And yeah, these are the places where you can find the medallions. I think the lion is already in the main hall, so we can get this one right away. And then we just need to find the other two. Okay. Return to the main hall. Uh oh. Um, I think there's someone at the door. Yeah, that totally is. Okay. Let's try to at least stun him so I can get out of here. Uh oh, and now we have a guy coming from this angle. Um, let's see, what's the quickest way back to the main hall? Maybe I can just avoid getting into a fight with these guys. Okay, so it's this way, right? Oh no, oh no, oh no. Um, can I maybe go inside here? And lure you inside? I have a bit of room here. Okay, now they're coming. Okay. Let's just try to give each of them like a single shot. They're probably not dead, but um, I'm going to leave them be for the time being. Okay, this is the right way. And yeah, back into the main hall, please. <laughs> Oh no! Uh, yeah, of course. One of them is still alive. Good work. Good work. You're safe. For now. Thanks. Marvin Brana. All right. Leon Kennedy. There was another officer I couldn't. Yeah. I remember him. I didn't remember his name, but I remember him. <clears throat> I'm sure you did what you could, Leon. Okay, that was actually kind of terrifying. Does anyone know what started this? Not a clue. But honestly, all you need to know is that this place will eat you alive if you aren't careful. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, I was supposed to start last week, and I got a call to stay away. I wish I'd come here sooner. You're here now, Leon. That's all that matters. Okay, Lieutenant. I'm ready. Hopefully you'll be able to find a way out of this station. That officer you met earlier, Elliot. He thought this secret passageway might do the trick. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hmm. This is good news. We can get you to a hospital. No, no, I am not the priority here. Lieutenant, I'm not just gonna leave you here. I'm giving you an order, rookie! You save yourself first. I'd come with you, but I'd just slow you down. Now, you'll need this. I can't take it. Stop. Him. And don't make my mistake. If you see one of those things, uniform or not, you do not hesitate. You take it out. Or you run. Got it? Got it. Yes, sir. <laughs> so what exactly did you give me? Oh, a combat knife. Equip on the inventory screen to use. This knife wears down with use and will break when its gorge is depleted. Space to ready and left mouse button to slash. Can be used to counterattack space when you are caught by an enemy and can only be retrieved once you defeat them. Okay, that's new. Ready sub weapon plus attack. Okay. Yeah, this is actually a lot more like it's in Resident Evil 4 than in the second one. I mean, the usefulness of the knife in the second one was disputed at best. 
I mean, you could use it to melee zombies and maybe save bullets, but at the same time it was taking up a valuable inventory space, um, so I know a lot of people just dropped the knife and didn't use it at all. It was definitely very useful in Resident Evil 4 because it was just uh, equipped all the time and it didn't take up inventory space and it was perfect for, you know, trying to save bullets, shoot the zombies in the knee and then knife them. I'm not sure if this is a good idea in this case because, you know, it wears down apparently. So I'll have to see how useful the knife is and if I want to carry it with me. Health and recovery items. As you take damage, your health monitor is in the bottom left will drop from fine to caution to danger. When in danger, quickly heal yourself with a green herb or first aid spray before it's too late. Yeah. I understand how that works. I have some kind of codex with stuff that I found. I see. And I guess these are slots for more weapons that I will find at some point and a map. And it seems like I found everything of importance <laughs> in, in that place. So yeah, let me uh, drop off some stuff. Uh, I guess I don't need two health sprays, so I will drop one. I will keep the knife for now and see how useful it is and then I will decide if I want to keep it. And I am going to save. As a matter of fact, I think this is a good time to end the episode since we just had the chance to make a save here. And yeah, I guess my next task will be to find the medallions. I'm pretty sure I can get one already from the lion statue we saw earlier, but I will have to find the other two and that's going to take me a while. So yeah, let's end the first episode here. Um, this is going to be a terrifying game. I hope uh, you are along for the ride and I hope you enjoyed. So if you do, uh, come back for the next episode in two days. Bye bye.